Goodbye civilization. I'm going in. I only have a seven and a half foot leader. I think leader is too short for how deep this looks. I'm gonna keep walking up a little bit. I think I found the perfect spot. Now I'm knocking the rust off with this attempt here. I've got this little slip bobber. You can slip this up and down if you want to adjust it. And the, I think the rule for fly fishing when you're trying to find the depth is you want to go about 1.5 times the length on your leader to how deep you think it is. I think it's about four feet deep and I've got about five feet of leader, which is a little bit less than what you're recommended to do, but the water is moving so slow. So you got to take that into consideration too. This is what I'm starting with, by the way. I think it's a Prince Nymph with no split shot. If I need to add more weight, I'll add a split shot, but I'll give it a couple casts first. I'm going to be as silent as I can. I don't want to spook the fish. I'm going to start at this tail end. Since all the fish are looking upstream, I'm going to work my way upstream so I don't spook anything up there. I'm going to get a little bit of line out. That should be all I need. We're going to do our first little roll cast. It's almost going to be all roll casts. Let's start right here. First cast. All right, I can tell immediately I need more weight, so I'm gonna add a small split shot. About 14 to 18 inches above my nymph, I got my split shot on. Come on, fishy. Come on up for it. As long as I got that presentation right, I think we got a chance at it. So I'm casting out. Wait until the rod loads up before I shoot it back forward, giving it a little bit of a mend, and then trying to drift it as long as I can without having any interference on that indicator. Weight seems right. Now I'll start working my way upstream. One thing I really want to do with the property I have is make that floating dock and then have people practice fly fishing. And once they feel like they're proficient enough, I want to take them out to the rivers like this, try to catch an actual fish in the river with a fly. That's one of the goals that I have for the property, but I have to myself get better at fly fishing before I can teach anyone. Got the basics down. Roll cast, but still need a lot of work. If this doesn't work, we got two pound test on the spinning rod coming right up. I just don't know what to throw. <laughs> so all you experienced fly fishermen, what would you guys throw here? So I got two pound test line. This stuff is like thread. I've got a jig head. I've never really seen anybody catch fish with a jig head and a swim bait. This is a quarter ounce. Oh, that looks deadly. That looks deadly. Oh, there's a big trout right in front of me. That's a kokanee. There's a bite. Oh my God, I got another one. I had another one. I gotta tighten the drag. This two pound test is gonna be the death of me. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh my gosh. They're bright red though. And I got a new goal, it's actually to catch a fish on this swim bait. I'll admit, this jig head has been sitting in my freshwater tackle box for a long time. I never really planned to use it. So the hook, maybe it could be sharpened a bit, but, and with the two pound test, it's hard to get a good hook set, but I'm determined to get one. And I think I can get one on this jig head. I just gotta put in a little bit of time. Dang it, come on. They're just nibbling at it. That was a great bite, dude. That was a great, there he is. Yes, hooked him good. What kind of fish is this? Oh, that's a nice rainbow, I think. On the swim bait. That's a nice rainbow. 
Oh my God. Don't break off. Don't break off. Wow. Wow. Look at that. What a fish. How cool is that? Catching a fish on a quarter ounce swim bait. Jeez, I'm gonna let him go. What a fish, y'all. This is a really, really nice one. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful fish. That is just amazing. Okay, breathe, baby. Breathe, buddy. Wow, that was like a 17 inch trout. I've got to say, that was a 17 incher. It's catch and release only right now. The season goes from April until November 15th and those months you can keep them. Otherwise, it's artificial only and catch and release. So this is just kind of practicing. Gosh, that was so cool. I'm always gonna have swim baits and jig heads in my arsenal from now on, especially if I come across a deep hole like this. You can't get down to these spots any better than you can with a jig head. That was one of my coolest catches ever. And now I know the swim bait works, you know? Now I have confidence in it that I can bring it out and add to my arsenal. This is just another thing to buy from the tackle store now. The sun is starting to set, and I think this is the perfect place for the jig head. If not, well, I think I'll just call it. It's just an exploring day for me, so once I finish up here, I'm gonna move on. Oh, there's a little fish biting it. Oh, oh, there's a giant trout. Holy moly. What is that? Is that a trout? No way. Look at this thing. No way that's a trout. There's a giant fish there. Oh my God, what is that? What is that? Please don't see me. That is a 20 inch trout. That is a 20 inch trout and I'm just gonna sneak on over here carefully oh my gosh okay i'm gonna use something small something that i can i think can get down there easily but something that looks really natural okay it's all about the presentation is that fish still there that's the question oh there he is i see him i see him oh that's a brown trout that's a giant brown trout and he's eating right now well he may have seen me because he's swimming away oh man that was my chance there he was too all right no wait I mean, no indicator. Man, I can't believe that I had a chance at a PB brown trout and I didn't even get to cast at it one time. But at least I caught a fish with a jig head and a swim bait. That was a first for me. I'll be back out here trying to get this trout now I know exactly where to stand and I know exactly what gear I need to bring. More jig heads and some more flies. It'll be a camping trip, I think, and I'm going to get him next time.